To download the new Photoshop beta, all you need to do is subscribe to the paid Photoshop plan or use an existing Adobe ID. After that, it can be installed from the Creative Cloud on your desktop. Let's start with inpainting. Inpainting means editing within the borders of an image, for example adding elements to a photo or artwork or removing unwanted objects. This is an image I created using Midjourney. Let's change our subject's shirt. To do that I use my mouse to draw a selection around the shirt. Once my selection is complete, I choose Generative Fill and type the prompt suit. Then I hit Generate. Photoshop will always generate three versions. You can switch from one to another with the arrows or generate new ones. On top of that, it generates them on a new layer. We can do the same thing by adding sunglasses to the subject. What if we want to change the hairstyle? Just lasso and click on Generative Fill. Let's change where he sits and put him to a throne. Maybe he has a cute parrot sitting in his shoulder and together they would enjoy a refreshing new scenery. And final result, an original version is here. Here is another example. I created this image with Mid Journey and this room looks little empty. Let's add a TV to this corner. I will add a chandelier here. And we can add a cool painting to this wall. What if this isn't an indoor scene but actually an outdoor scene? To do that I'm using Photoshop's auto selection tool, automatically choosing floor and while holding shift I'm choosing chair here as additional selection. My purpose is to choose everything except these two so I choose these objects and apply reverse selection. Photoshop selects the right space for me and all I need to do is write prompt outdoor. It's not perfect but still impressive. Here is another example. Look how I add a long exposure motion blur to this AI photo with selecting the train and writing the prompt. I want to demonstrate to you a common mistake people make while using lasso tool. People make a square selection on the image and write their prompt. This method gives what we want but not quite right if we want pasta to take the shape of the original lasso. The correct method involves making a selection around the lasso in the shape of the lasso. So generative fill gives the correct result. So the main takeaway is that selection is the most crucial part of working with the new generative fill feature in new Adobe Photoshop. Next is out painting. Out painting means expanding existing images. To do that open the image you want to expand in Photoshop. Expand the canvas using the crop tool. Now we must select the area we want to generate. We are interested in it coloring a bit of the image's edges so that Photoshop uses that information in the generation. The easiest way to do this is choosing rectangular selection tool and marking a rectangle area inside the image. Then click on invert selection from little the toolbox opened here. Now our selection covers area we want to expand as well as a small portion of our original image. Select generative fill and hit generate. This method is great for transforming your portrait images to landscape in seconds. To do that click on crop and from drop down menu on the corner choose your desired aspect ratio. 16 to 9 images generally considered as horizontal images, 9 to 16 is portrait size. Another cool thing you can do is to connect two images together and create a new composition. To do that, first open the images you want to connect. For that you can click on file and place embedded. You can select the image you want to add to the composition. Next step is to be sure that everything is on the same layer. Choose layers by holding shift, right click on the layer and click on merge layers. Before we fill the empty void, we need to be sure that we selected the right area. To do this, select rectangular selection tool and choose an area within the image. Since we have two images, we need to do the same for other image as well. Now, click and hold on shift and select another area in the other image. As we did before, select invert selection and now we have correct area of the selection together with few pixels from image layers. We are ready to use generative fill. Hit generate. When it comes to removing elements from an image, you have two main options in new Photoshop. First you can select the elements, leave prompt empty and hit generate to remove it from image. Also, you can choose remove brush tool and manually select the element you want to get rid of. Now I will show you how you can colorize old photos and extend them to create a full scene. Imagine to have old black and white photo of your grandparents. Now open it with Photoshop and click on filters and neural filters. This section is dedicated to neural network driven modifications you can do on the photo. Here I found colorize option to be working quite good. You can also fine tune certain part of the image using AI. 
to colorize a black and white photo, first download the filter and apply it. Is the last step, I will out paint photo to make it a full scene. And here is our composition is ready. I generated all the base images using Mid Journey with the prompts from the Mid Journey V51 AI photography style guide. You can find the link in the description below and in the pinned comment. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. If you want to learn more about art and content creation with AI tools and everything AI related click here.